back to Loose Women. Now, today's show is a Westlife special. After 14 years, the boys have decided to split, but today we are celebrating their greatest hits. Here they are, singing one of their UK number one hits, Flying Without Wings. <laughs> Everybody's looking for that something One thing makes it all complete You find it in strange places Places you never knew it could be Some find it in the face of their children some find it in the lover's eyes who can deny the joy it brings but you found that special thing you flying without wings some find a chair in every morning some in their solitary lives And you find it in the works of others yeah. And a simple line can make you laugh Oh, cry you find it in the deepest friendships The kind you cherish You know how much that means And you found that special thing You're flying without wind There's no impossible As they oh, may seem You've got, got to, to fight Sunrise on your face To know that I can say I love you today. <laughs> There's still loads of chat and music to come from this life, but for now it is competition time again and here are all the details that you need. Take a look. Here's your chance to win a luxurious all-inclusive holiday in the stunning Caribbean and £10,000. You and a friend could be jetting off to the fabulous island of Grenada. You'll enjoy seven nights in a luxury twin room at the exclusive La Source Resort. We'll also make sure that you're well and truly pampered by giving you and your friend six complimentary spa treatments each. So if you fancy winning a wonderful holiday in the sun and £10,000, just answer the following question correctly. Who sang the 1978 hit song Copacabana? Was it A, Andy Williams, B, Barry Manilow, or C, Cliff Richard? Call 09012 931 Calls cost no more than £1 and 3 pence from BT Landlines. Calls mother networks may be higher and from mobiles will be considerably more. 
Text your answer, A, B or C, to 63303. Text cost £1 plus one standard network rate message. Red button viewers can enter by pressing their red button now or enter for free at ITV.com. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 11 a.m. on Monday the 21st of November. And entries made after this time won't be counted but may still be charged. And the best of luck with that. Now, fans across the world have been left devastated by the news that Westlife will be going their separate ways after their farewell tour. Uh, telling us what the future holds for them, please welcome Kian and Mark. Woo! <laughs> That was so fabulous. We, we, I mean, obviously, we see lots of bands performing on, on the show, but I've never seen anybody look so relaxed. You just yeah, look yeah. absolutely well, in the moment. Exactly. Just enjoying it. You forget how brilliant yeah. all your voices are. Yeah. And to be here in such close proximity is fantastic. With Flyme Without Wings, we've, I mean, we've, I don't know how many times we've performed yeah. it, but a lot of times. So, you know, you actually just get to stand there and, and completely just perform, you know? You're not thinking about anything to do with the lyrics or anything like that, you yeah. know? I've sung it so many times. Do you find that now? Obviously, you've been together so long, you, you can almost talk in shorthand. Do, do you know what I mean? You, you don't have to yeah. rehearse so much. You, you know yeah, exactly I mean, what's coming next. I, I think there's an awful lot of times where we could really just show up and do it, and that, you know, without mm. rehearsing and stuff like that. But I think that's just because, you know, the people that we have working with us and our team around us, they've been with us for so long, so they know how we like it and all that type yeah. of stuff. You know, we know how to do the kind of camera work and all that. So it's just, you know, it's just good. experience. Now, no, Mark, you've been busy writing as well. You've done some writing on the, on the album, some new stuff, is that right? Yeah, um, I mean, I've kind of been, me and Keen were in the same class in school and I was writing mm. even back then, you know, when I was 13, 14 years old. Um, and I didn't really apply- I was your critic. Yeah, I was like, what's doing this? I didn't really apply my songwriting to Westlife actually until very late, until a couple of years ago on the Where We Are album. Yeah. Um, and I wrote a song called Reach Out with a couple of people for that. And then this album, or the last album, Gravity, I had more songs on that one. Um, yeah. I've got a song on this one which I co-wrote with the producer John Shanks and a girl called Ruth Ann. Um, but also Nicky and um, Shane, got his name for that. <laughs> 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 Anyways, yeah, That's Nikki and Shane have actually co-written a song as well on this one. So, okay. you know, it's um, you know one step at a time. We've never been the type of people to jump in at everything. We've always been. Very sensible. And your new single that's called Lighthouse. It's called Lighthouse, yeah. And who, who wrote that? Um, actually, Gary Barlow and oh. John Shanks, the producer, yeah. They're, okay. they're, John Shanks, the guy who's produced our last album and this Greatest Hits album, the new songs on the Greatest Hits, um, mm -hmm. he done all the Take That comeback stuff, so he's very close wow. to Gary and they wrote a song. So. And, and was that interesting for you to work with someone who I suppose in terms of, you know, boy bands, that Take yeah. That must be seen yeah. as rivals to you? Well, uh, I mean, we wouldn't see anybody as rivals, really, to be honest with you. I think you're a lot younger, though, aren't you? You're... Ten years, uh, at least. Yeah. <laughs> at least. <laughs> they are, aren't they? But yeah, yeah I, I, think, I think in a way, you know, obviously everybody's a rival, but nobody's a rival. You know, everybody... We all have our own paths. But, uh, you know, we didn't really work with Gary as such. They wrote the song, and then the song got kind of sent to us, okay. and we heard it, and then we recorded it. So, you know, <laughs> we didn't actually go into a studio with Gary. But, yeah, I mean, it's nice to say that we, you know, Gary wrote a song and... Mm -hmm. Stuff like that, you know, it's a good talking point. Was Louis happy about that? <laughs> <laughs> a bit of rivalry there, isn't there, at the moment? There is. I think, I think it's, it's just yeah. good crack, though, isn't it? Healthy you know, banter. It it's it's like, for yeah. the telly, isn't it? Um, the tour, <laughs> right, how long is the tour going on for? Because presumably that's going to be quite... <laughs> It's going to be quite well, emotional for you because of the yeah. you know, no it's doubt our last, the It's our reaction. last tour, farewell tour. Um, we don't know exactly how long it's going to go on for um, because every time we put a date on, thankfully, um, the, you know, the interest is still out there, but... So you um, could be doing the farewell tour until you're 93. We put 11 dates on first and they sold out like practically immediately. Wow. So we ended up putting another 11 on and I kind of, I mean, you know, we, we'll kind of do the tour and, and sort of... Um, do it as much for as much demand as there is, if you know what I mean. And we've just actually. I think we will cap it at one point. You know, <clears throat> we were talking about this. You know, in Ireland, we saw that Crow Park in like four minutes, which was a record, mm. 85,000 people. So that was amazing. So we're doing a second one. But in the UK, we were kind of talking now about maybe doing something a little bit more special and kind of. You know, because we want to have something that says this is the final gig. Maybe you, you could know. have us on doing our Girls Aloud number. Yeah, back of vocals. Yeah. We're really very <laughs> good. Yeah, we go for that, Denise. Actually, we're not very yeah. good, but we're very cheap. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you've got a busy year coming up anyway. You're going to be a yeah, daddy. Yeah, I am. Oh. Yeah, what, what date is it? First of January? The first of January, yeah. My wife is due, Jodie. She's at home watching. Hi, baby. 
Oh. Hi, Jody. How's it all been going? All been She's going great, on? yeah. I mean, uh, you know, touch wood so far, everything has been absolutely amazing, you know. Um, She's getting very big now, so yeah. it's time for her yeah. to feed up. Yeah, she's blossoming. And... You never tell a woman she's getting very just... big, so she's blooming. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> that is, that is, she's very neat, though. It's just a big ball. It's a very, she's oh, very neat. You know, and she's... do you know what you're going to have? No, we have no idea. We have no idea. Very, very exciting times. Oh. Very exciting times. And yeah. what about you? What have you are you, you going to carry on with the, the songwriting? Or yeah, after... Uh, um, I thought you were asking me if I was going to get pregnant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to keep songwriting. I yeah. mean, I, I just kind of have to anyways. It's just what I do. It's, you know, yeah. very natural to me. Um, and keep making music, you know? I mean, and none of us have genuine... We genuinely haven't actually planned anything yet, you sure, know? So right, that yeah. will all sort of unfold as time go, goes on. You've still got a wee bit of time as well. It's not yeah, like it's tomorrow. Course. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and my Kevin know. is at home as well. I want to say hello to Kevin. He watches okay. the show every single day. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're, You're the one. Your fiance. And if I'm up in time... Yeah, my fiance, yeah. If I'm up in time, I watch as well. Wait, wait, have you got a wedding date at all? Or? No date, but kind of as soon as possible. I mean, the tour has kind of come together and it's, you know, I mean... You know, like anyone, you have to sort of plan ahead and yeah. it's difficult to know where the gaps will be and stuff like that in the tour, but we just want to get married as soon as possible. Aww. It's just making it happen. We just want a big make old it time out, you know. Lovely. That's all they they just want, yeah. yeah, they just want a big night out. Well, we're going to be, we're <laughs> gonna be chatting to you, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be chatting to you a wee bit more just, just after the break, but we do have to take a break now right. uh, before we put all your questions to Westlife and they perform their brand new single. Back in a bit. We could also sing at your wedding. Yeah. 